What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch, vlogging on my GoPro Hero 10 trash. Hopefully it doesn't sound like absolute rubbish, it probably does, but that's neither here nor there. Today, as the title says, I'm going to pick up my brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X pickup truck. Um, yes, it may be just very idiotic, the fact that I am buying a brand new car at this time, seeing how all the prices are a bit expensive at the moment due to chip shortage, which leads to inventory shortage, all that jazz. Now, it may be the case, in my opinion, um, if you know you don't have a car to trade in and you're just trying to go in and buy a car straight out uh, with no trade-in, but I think right now, if you do have a vehicle that you own and you're trying to resell or trade in, there's quite a bit of advantage for you that helps offset the added cost of buying a car, a new car at this time, because you get better trade-in value or better resale value for your old vehicle, which you could put towards your new vehicle, which is I am doing. Um, and of course, there's other things too in terms of you know what you value and how you value car, the car, the truck, and the time you spent with it now versus waiting one or two years and whenever the market comes down. Um, so there's that. So yeah, I am um, buying a truck. Now, this truck, 22 Frontier Pro 4X, is kind of rare at the moment because obviously it just came out. It just started arriving for, to dealerships and you know, each there's different colors and each color is pretty limited so you know a lot of dealerships in the area um, especially closer to home in like the DC area they are doing markups like you're talking about five thousand ten thousand dollars over MSRP um, and the dealer that I made a deal with gave me a good trade in value and I'm paying MSRP for the truck with no markup that is what they told me that is what I signed on the paperwork a month ago when I, you know, put the deposit down in the truck. Um, whether or not they hold on to that deal when I get to the dealership, which is two and a half hours away, we'll see. Um, the dealers are generally shady and I, uh, you know, bought and sold 10 different vehicles in my lifetime. And I feel like I have a pretty good gauge of how dealerships are and um, you know, the, the ones that I've dealt with, um, the past five cars that I bought, traded in, whatever, has been pretty good. I pretty much just dealt with them via email and everything they said on the email turned out to be true. And when I got there, we just signed paperwork and we were on our way. Um, there is one particular dealer that I dealt with a while back, um, which I'll tell you about right now. It's Nissan, uh, it's Priority Nissan in Tysons, Virginia. It's a piece of trash dealership. Never go there, never do business there ever. Back in 2010, I had the displeasure of doing business with them, but uh, I managed to get a deal out of them, but it was definitely like something that was, put it left a bad taste in my mouth, and I just never wanted to go back. But essentially, I made a deal with them to trade in my STI, a Super STI for a 350Z back in 2010, and um, I didn't, you know, we had all the numbers down. Uh, I signed like the, the buyer's order and all that stuff. And I told them I just got to go home uh, and come back the next day, um, you know, to to finish the deal the next day. But I'll definitely come back, uh, which I did. And when I came back the next day, they like said they couldn't do uh, whatever the trading was for my car and it would have to be like $2,000 less. So essentially I cussed them out I started walking out and they said, oh wait, let me talk to your manager, all that bull crap. And of course, they were able to do the original price they gave me the day before. That's just dirty stuff. They didn't have to do that. They tried it and it failed and they went ahead and got the deal because of course they wanted to sell the car and make the money. But I left the bad taste in my mouth and never wanted to go back there again. And of course, like a month ago, guess what, what dealer, the closest dealer to home with the 2022 Frontier in the bolder gray color that I wanted, Pro 4X with all the options, it is that dealer, Nissan's Priority, Priority Nissan and Tyson's. So I called them, I said, hey, K 
and uh, you know, I put a deposit down in this truck, how much they signed it for. They wouldn't tell me. They said, hey, just come on in and we'll talk. You know, I can't do that with all that deposit stuff over the phone. So I'm like, all right, you know, it's an hour away. So I drive there uh, against my better judgment, knowing that this dealer is shady as hell. And that's when they proceed to give me paperwork showing that they're trying to do a $5,000 markup on the truck and uh, this, that, and the other, uh, saying it's a good deal. And they offer like dealer services, which I'll never do because I live an hour away from the dealership. Uh, with that being said, I said, no, uh, you can go ahead and dribble some balls on your chin. I'm going to head out. So while I was driving, I called Steven Nissan, which is the dealership I'm going to right now. And I called them and asked them about the truck they have coming in. Um, this is back on September 1st. Today is October 1st. So it's been a month. Um, and then the car, the, the truck is finally delivered. Meanwhile, Priority Nissans have had the truck on their lot for the past, I want to say, two and a half two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, and it has not sold. A uh, shocker because they're asking for like an $8,000 markup. So that car, that truck, you know, uh, stay sitting on the lot. So I'm going to Stevens now, obviously, because they were able to work out a deal with me on the phone. I put the deposit down on the phone. So whatever priority Nissan was telling me about not being able to put a deposit down, the phone was bullshit. So I put the deposit on the phone. I signed all the paperwork online via email. And I've been in contact with them uh, back and forth the past month, um, just getting updates on the truck, seeing where it's at. And poor guys, you know, they've been very nice to me. Like, I've pretty much been blowing up their phone like every day, every other day, and every time they picked up, and they'll, or they'll call me back, and they've been very nice about it, even though I've been bugging the crap out of them. But, you know, it goes to show it's really important that not only do we as businesses deliver um, you know the product uh, that the customer is happy with but part of our the product we're delivering is our service and the experience the buyer has uh, buying uh, from us or, or, or uh, signing up with us for service in my case I'm a videographer and one of the things I really want to make sure is not only do I deliver the product the video as promised but they have a good time um, working with me and that you know when when you know it's come time for them to refer a client to me that they will be gladly uh to refer they'll, they'll be glad to refer a client to me not only uh because of the product that I deliver but like just me as, a, as an individual as a person as a business to deal with being flexible things of that nature like there's been times before where like a client would reach out to me uh you know and then you know we'll talk about it and I had a certain price and then like you know maybe a month later I decided to increase my pricing um, you know because that's what we do uh, we measure the market see where we're at and we do price increases you know as years goes by as our experience grows and our the value of our product grows and they'll reach out to me maybe that same client that reached out to me before reached out to me two months later and you know my prices have already increased but I always honor the price that the client saw when they initially reached out to me. Even though in between the time they initially reached out and to the time they decide to finally sign with me, I don't change the pricing on them. You know what I mean? Like, and, um, you know, that's just me. That's just how I do business. Um, you know, just try to be honest, try to be upfront and transparent with everything I do. When clients reach out to me asking me where their video is and the progress, I try to tell them as upfront and as uh, straight straight forward and as transparent as possible what's going on i try to give them as much detail as possible uh, to make sure they're comfortable and they feel good and you know overall i want them to enjoy the experience with me and i feel like a lot of car dealerships don't do that um, they just kind of sort short-sighted want to make the big sale want to get the big profits but that customer will never return again um, or or that customer will leave the, the dealership without not buying anything and just telling other friends, other people on Facebook groups, other other people uh, online, wherever, social media, um, Google reviews, dealer rater reviews, whatever. And you know, they lose a lot of business that way. Um, and that's, you know, it's neither here nor there as their problem, but uh, that's the way they want to do business. They'll never get business from me. So hopefully, I'm always with Steven Nissan right now, hopefully they hold on to 
um, their side of the deal um, and we get this paperwork done. Right now I'm on the way to the bank first. Gotta get a cashier's check. Um, once I get there, I'll do a quick update and then pretty much on my way to the dealership. Um, but the, the bank to the dealership is about two hours, so I've got a long ways to go. So I'll keep you all updated. All right, just got the check. Now I'm on my way to get gas because I'm about to drive out of the country pretty much to uh, get this truck. So, uh... all right, guys, so I've been driving for about two hours now and this dealership is out in the cut, like the boondocks, about a mile away from the dealership, two minutes away. So I'm feeling very excited right now. I just hope that uh, Steven Nissan doesn't do any dealership type stuff on me. Um, somebody got some loud subs, but uh, yeah, I just hope uh, everything goes well. I'm doesn't look like it. Maybe because I'm tired of driving. Maybe I'm a little bit nervous, but yeah, I'm 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 excited and I hope that everything works out for the best. Um, we'll see once I start pulling up to the dealership in about two minutes. All right, so I'm pulling up just about to the dealer right now, and let's see if the thing is like parked outside. Maybe it's ready for delivery. We will see. I'm gonna pull in. Uh, make sure I pull into the right lot. Lot of used cars out here that's for sure we're at the dealer steven nissan Let's see what we're working with out here Let's see some tacomas out here uh, i don't know where i'm supposed to park i do not see the frontier parked out here anywhere but uh, I'm gonna turn back around, make sure I go to the right spot. I got a black SV. Let's see. Pull out to the main to lot. Go front over here. Went to the wrong place. All right, so I thought the car was like parked out here somewhere, but it's not. But uh, go ahead and park and uh, do our thing. Do you want to be on? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, cool, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm here with uh, Robert from, or Bobby. Either one. Yeah, from uh, Steven Nissan. And I'm about to go on my first test drive on the 2022 uh, Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Uh, let's see, I've got to adjust my seat. I'm over here was... A tall, non-Asian person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Robert here has been great. I've been bothering him like every day. <laughs> no, we, we had to do a little waiting, but I'm glad. I'm glad oh, it finally showed up. Yeah, blown up, blown up his phone. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got a, you got a girlfriend. See the cool? I do. You do? Yeah. yeah she's do. probably like, who's this calling yeah, you every day? <laughs> <laughs> no, she did ask me a, a time or two. Hey, who's that texting you? Yeah, yeah, who's, yeah, that, yeah. who's that? Who's Vu? Is it real? No, that's all. Who's this person from Maryland calling? You? <laughs> God, man. and we usually just take it right up up the road here. So yeah, you need to yeah. Go yeah. Make sure it, you know doesn't sound like the yeah. no clunks or anything. Hopefully, this thing stays. One of the coolest things I like about this one is probably the fact that it uh, it has the speed limit detection. Oh, uh, part of the Nissan, yeah, 360 safety shield. You can see it there. You see where it, you know you see you got 306 miles to empty right next oh. to it it says limit oh sweet uh once we drive past the speed limit sign it'll it'll detect it and it'll show it to you yeah i'll tell you one of the things people are complaining about is the thing doesn't the wheel doesn't come out the all oh, the yeah, steering wheel yeah sorry right. oh, arms are okay now i say i think it and i've i've only been doing this a year so you know i'm not oh, you're gonna I'm hear two, it? yeah a year in the business but uh i've seen you know nissan's had the same design in the Frontier for yeah. about 15 years now. So <laughs> yeah. it's like finally something fresh. Yeah, I've been waiting for it, man, because literally it was either Tacoma. Yeah. Like that's my only option. Either. I really want a Japanese truck and it was yeah. Toyota Tacoma Frontier. And like, 
I was looking at the Frontier, and I was kind of like, oh, man, Well, that's the thing, man. Not, I mean, not only are they reliable, but just if you take care of them, if you look at the longevity of them, yeah. I mean, people people stay in them. Hey, so let me ask you this, salesman. Like, yeah. Uh, why should someone buy this instead of a Tacoma? Well, see, now, um, I think these are really going to compete. You know, in the past, Toyota, the name spoke for itself a lot. So, right. you know, people would buy yeah. Tacomas just because it was a Toyota, not a Nissan. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I know that there's some stigma as far as CVT transmission goes with oh, Nissan. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's one of the things, you know, they're doing a lot better with those. Yeah. Um, but this having that... I believe it's nine-speed variable, you know, oh, yeah. you're going to be able to tow anything you need in this, oh, yeah, but man. also go off-road and you're going to feel like a breeze. Right. So I think the redesign, the way that they uh, redid it's actually going to really, really help it just yeah. compete with it to come more. Tony is not too bad for a truck. Yeah. Like, I was kind of worried about that because I'm, I'm coming from, like, small cars. Today. Well, you're in the Mazda, right? Yeah, Mazda SUV, but, like, before that, I was, like, driving, like, Subaru WRXs. I had, like, oh, a Lexus IS. So that's what you, you know. said. You used some, some rice. Yeah, I've been you, doing you the rice car. Yeah, I did some of the rice stuff, you know. Over there trying to try to be part of uh, Dominic Toretto's family. You know? Yeah, I got you. No, I got you. <laughs> Honestly, I think they respect something like this. This is a nice. I like yeah, this truck, nice. man. Yeah, yeah. Nice. it looks nice. It's Are you gonna do any work to this? Or? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. You know, like for now. I'm, you know, I mean, this knows, is something I, you. I, look, I I said my a long time ago. I said I'll never get a pickup truck just because it drives bad. But look yeah. at me now, and then it's just like. I mean, you just can't. This, this we'll thing. see what I do. But yeah. Nothing crazy. Where's the? It's the next one. It's the next one. Yeah. I mean, everything seems feels fine to me. Have you ever been up up this way? Uh, I've been to like, like the caverns and stuff. You've been to the caverns? Yeah, I've okay, been to. That's... I've been, I had an Airbnb once up here. Near the, the, the caverns? Uh, I went to the. I went there just to visit, but then like another time, I came back to this area, like Shenandoah Valley. Yeah. Like, and, okay. You know, that's and just like we had Airbnb in the mountains during the winter time. That's like literally where I grew up, where I was born and raised, is right there at at the caverns. Oh really? Yeah, okay, that so county. That's where, yeah, yeah, that's where I'm from. Hey, it's out here, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because, that's um, for sure. Nice. All right, so let's find a spot. Where do I put this thing? So if you could do it, if you could do it. Honestly, if you want, you can test out the backup camera, but you could also back it in on this side, so uh, we wouldn't have to get, and we won't have to get that ugly passenger van in it. <laughs> oh yeah. What's what's going on back here? Just um, like, it's just a lot. If you'd rather do it back there, we can. Yeah, let's see. Just, we actually are pretty opened up right now. We were super full. Oh, what do you mean? I mean, like, you. I mean, I mean, in terms of customers. The or past cars? month, so cars. I mean, we had. We try to keep 200, but here at the beginning of the month, we had about 260, and now, you know, we got this, which is good. We have some room back here. Where's the sun right now? Dang, it's up there. You trying to get it to your back? Yeah, or? it's cool. You just put it right here. Cool. And just let him, like, and I'll film with the sun behind And him. the only reason I get him, he's actually the oh, head of got our, right there? Yeah, that one's a base model. Or it's an SV. Yeah, it's but, not a, it ain't a Pro 4X. Yeah, but, oh, do you want to, we had the walk order to get him? We got, yeah, I was just I'm calling. just testing out the backup man. camera. You want to go get him for him to come yeah. to the truck? Here, I'll try with it. You sure? Yeah. Are you going to walk over there? And he, he, he heads our um, internet department. Okay, So cool. that's kind of why, you know, I, I know he... Uh, I mean, I figure, I don't know when you're going to get another Pro 4X, but... Well, that's the thing. We... We actually took a little walk around video just in case. Oh, did you? Yeah, Already? Okay. But, so. but I mean, no, dude. It was like, uh, took our phone, walked around. Uh, just oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't I'm going to let him like, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Good. If he knows anything about it, anyway. Oh. All right, yeah. Alright, I'll try back. You may have him meet you back there? Yeah. I got you. Thank you so much for joining. This is JT Massey over here at Steven Nissan, and today I have a treat. We've waited long enough for the new Frontier, and Nissan's finally done it. We have the all new 2022 Nissan Pro 4X. This one is done all the way up. It actually has every package, the technology, the convenience, and the Pro package to give you a well rounded and modern truck. Uh, Nissan didn't waste any time making us wait for about 15 years, but you know what? It's finally here. Um, obviously, I'm sure you're aware Nissan has done a lot to change the vehicle, not only cosmetically, but also mechanically. Um, under the hood, you're actually looking at a 3.8 liter V6 engine, making a little over 300 horsepower and paired to a nine speed automatic. So reliability, torque and power, if that's what you're looking for in a truck, this is definitely the one to consider. Um, updated lights, you're looking at LED daytime running lights. What's cool too is you don't have to go all the way up to the Pro 4X to get it. You can look at some of the mid trims like the SV Premium packages so you could still get this classic new look. Um, obviously the Pro 4X comes standard with some extra bells and whistles like Bilstein shocks, off-road running boards. It's really, really sharp. Um, the interior of Nissan's where you'll notice some of the bigger changes other than the obvious cosmetics. 
You'll find that you have a nice updated screen, so you have great visibility for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, it has heated seats, wireless charging for your cellular devices, along with array of safety features, including forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and more. Obviously, Nissan is really wanting to have a comfortable experience, whether you're taking short or long trips. So you'll find that in the front and back seats, Nissan's incorporated the zero gravity style lumbar support seat. So you'll feel it in your hips, shoulders, and back, a really comfortable experience. You'll have a ton of leg room, as well as multiple outlets for connectivity. Obviously, if you're sitting up front, there's two USB ports in the front, and you get two USBs in the back, along with the full functioning outlet. So if connection's important to you, obviously you have that, and it's something that's practical if you use this as more of a work tool. Obviously, you get different bed lengths. This is the standard length of bed. You can opt for a long bed truck. Um, obviously, you'll notice the Pro 4 badging here on the side. And for the first time in Nissan's experience, you'll notice that the Frontier is badged boldly on the back. Of course, you're coming standard with a backup camera. You can also opt for a tow package once they become more available. Uh, has a tailgate dampener, so it's easy to open close your tailgate, so it's really, really practical if you're loading things in and out. If you like kayaking, if you like off-roading, you like adventure, this bed will give you plenty of space and utility to do all of those things. Um, of course, this one has the spray-in bed liner. You can get a drop-in bed liner if you would prefer it. Um, you'll notice along the inside of the bed, you have LED lights, so it increases your visibility if you're working in the evening hours, or if you're just waking up in the morning going on your adventures as well, you have great visibility there as well. Plastic to Nissan, you'll notice the little gray tracks along the inside, that's your utility track. That's actually gonna be really helpful for you if you're looking to bungee anything around. But again, that's a classic Nissan feature that they carried over from the previous model. You'll notice as well, nice little orange badging for the Nissan emblem to kind of give it a sharp accent to really kind of make it stand out. And you'll notice the only thing LED, that's not LED about all of the lights are the cargo lights. But you know you have great visibility even with those four bulbs in there. Your ground clearance is insane, so if you are into off-roading and adventure, this will give you all of the flexibility to take really go wherever life takes you. It's really, really helpful. And obviously, your driver's experience starts here on the cabin. So you'll notice nice leather material all along the inside of the door. Of course, that comes standards with the Pro Convenience Package as well. Um, of course, the, some of the other new features include intelligent cruise control. It'll come standard with forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring. It's a really, really safe truck, and Nissan, like I said, did not pull any strings and wanted to make sure you got the best truck possible. Um, you'll notice a nice big display for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Obviously, if you want to use the screen and the in-factory navigation, you can do that as well. Um, once you get in the truck, very, very comfortable, very, very roomy. And with the Fender audio system, you will have a great, great music quality experience. If you like concerts and cars, whether you're taking a short or long trip, this would definitely be the vehicle to do it. And even when you start it up, it's got a great exhaust note. It's very simple, not over the top, but it's still a working person's truck. Obviously, this one's done up with some extra bells and whistles, but even if you go for our more basic trim, they come standard with safety features. They come standard with CarPlay. It's a much more modern truck, and I think Nissan really kind of stood up to the call to action from the customers to really make it a comfortable experience. Um, of course, it has intelligent cruise control, Bluetooth on the steering wheel controls. You can see all kinds of information, including your, like the speed limit for the area. Of course, it has automatic headlights. Um, wireless charging, as I previously mentioned, heated steering wheel, four-wheel drive. One change to the four-wheel drive, you can actually do on-the-fly four-wheel drive from two-wheel high to four-wheel high. It's recommended you could probably get away with it under 45 miles an hour. You're ready to drive up to 65 miles an hour in the four-wheel high, but obviously when you're using four-wheel low, stop, put it in neutral, and you can make that adjustment to four low. But other than that, other than the obvious cosmetics, Nissan has really, really done a great job to make this a much more modern truck, a more comfortable truck, and really kind of steps up and rides to the occasion of the competitors. As far as the Toyota warranties and everything else, you get the same three-year, 36,000-mile coverage and a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain coverage. We offer free state inspections here for life. And obviously, if you've had a Frontier before, you'll be familiar with how it drives and how comfortable it is, but it's been completely redone. And as a person who's worked for Nissan for three years, I couldn't be happier with the truck. I can't wipe this grin off my face. I've been wanting them to do something like this forever. And clearly, they finally rose to the call of occasion to make it right. Um, really, really comfortable. The driving experience is great. Um, obviously, we'd love to set up any test drives we can with you. If you have questions, give us a call. Our number is 540-564-1111. Thank you. Hi. All right, guys. So I am now on the way home with my truck. Steve and Nissan, pretty much, I just came in, filled out paperwork, and that was that. That easy. Um, 
every the doll and numbers are exactly as expected. Guy's really nice. Um, Turn left onto East Market Street. Did a quick test drive and I filmed, I let them do like a, a walk around video. I filmed a walk around video for them for their YouTube channel. I took some drone shots of their, of their uh, dealership. And yeah, I'm probably, you know, obviously I'm gonna use it in my videos uh, about this truck. I'm gonna do a full review on this truck when I get the chance. Um, and then I'm gonna obviously take that same footage and use it for their video review because I appreciate when um, businesses come through uh, businesses that I work with come through and deliver for me, give me a good experience, made me comfortable. Uh, I would certainly shop at Steven Nissan again. Um, so you guys, if you're in the D DC, Maryland, Virginia area, or just any area, they'll deal with you, you know, across, across the country, if need be, these guys are great. Um, Steven Continue Nissan, on East Market Street for ask one for uh, Robert, Patrick, um, Tony, the finance manager, and even JT Massey, uh, I talked, spoke with him for a little bit. He's another salesman. All those guys are amazing. Highly recommend Steven Nissan. Um, you know, I, this is not sponsored by Steven Nissan, obviously. I'm just very satisfied, happy customer with my experience uh, with, with Steven Nissan, and I'm just recommending them uh, to you guys. So if you happen to watch my channel, you're interested in buying a new car, a new Nissan, or any used car, they have a bunch of used cars on a lot, just definitely guys, like, Steven Nissan 100% um, just really nice dudes I freaking blew up their phone for the past month asking me them about the status of the truck uh, where it's at in delivery and like you know obviously they have no idea they're just you know at the mercy of Nissan and at the mercy of the truck driver who who drives the carrier and delivers the trucks to their dealership um, and they're always nice always uh, courteous um, never complain one bit um, we're very happy to help me and you know in all stages so I greatly appreciate them um, again, guys, Steven Nissan, 100% recommend them uh, for all your car purchasing needs. Um, yeah, whether it be a Nissan Frontier Pro 4X or not. So, you know, right now, truck drives really smooth. Like, I, uh, I've driven pickup trucks before. This definitely feels like a truck, but it is also very smooth, um, very nice feeling. Like, I can't explain it. You know, it feels like a really nice... Uh, smooth truck and that's pretty much all there is to it um, obviously I'll talk more about in my review I'm gonna have a new channel um, where I review this truck more in depth um, I'm gonna start I don't know what I'm gonna call it but the trucks gonna be involved um, I'm gonna do a lot of fishing um, pretty much any activity that I have to do with truck outdoors fishing will be on the channel and you know if you're interested in that kind of uh, douchebaggery, please the right lane to take the subscribe to it. I'll put a link on it in the description. Um, yeah, guys, I'm on my way home now. I'm in brand new 2022 Nissan Pro 4X. Couldn't be happier. Mile. Merge onto I-81 North. Couldn't be happier with my experience. Um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Until next time, lighten up.